what's good youtube this is mark Tune, and today i'm going to show you guys how to add a drip effect to your artwork before we go right into creating the drip effect you need to understand that this tutorial is meant to be simplified so i won't be taking an extra step or going forward to doing something else that is really going to make the video to be long or that's really going to be more complicated well you can do that yourself if you get the idea but i'm just going to simplify everything and this is just going to be strictly on one method if you are doing yours you have to follow the same method when you are doing yours except you want to try something else well the drip effect is something common in the art world most especially those guys who do cartoons and so on but someone asked me why don't i add the drip effect to my artwork and i said i really don't like adding the drip effect to the artwork and most times it's really based on request so he asked me if i could make a video on how to add a drip effect to your artwork so i decided to make it more simplified by doing this video with just a little bit of steps so let's just get right in creating the drip artwork right here and make sure you put your artwork on a transparent background or if you're making use of an of, a, of an image you can go ahead and make use of that image it's really really fine and if you want to get the drip effect check the link in the description whatever resource i'll be making use of in this video i'm going to put a link in the description where you can download them for free so once you import your image or your artwork you've erased the background or you don't have any background in it first thing you are going to do create a white background below your subject so i'll be making use of the new solid color i'm going to go up to the up to that part click and add a white to the background then i'm going to drag it below the artwork then if you have downloaded the drip paint effects you just have to drag and drop it into your artwork so i'm going to drag this and i'm going to drop it right here now i'm going to take it up first i need to scale it down to fit in the size of my document so i'm just going to scale this down to somewhere around this yeah okay somewhere around this is okay really okay so now this is where the main part comes in when i say i am not going to be taking this area forward or making it a little bit more complicated for you guys you can see that the drip effect added has a white background and it's very easy for you to erase the white background now i can just talk you through that step you can erase the background and set your image as clipping mask into this drip effect but i won't be doing that so what i'm going to do since i have the drip effect on my artwork and i really just want only the drips no background no white background and no black background so this is what you are going to do head over to your blend mode and since we want to make the black transparent and we have a white background so the blend mode for making a black transparent or making something like is the word the screen so when you set that to the screen mode you can see that the black has been taken away it's now blending in with your artwork or your image or photo whatever one you have right there so now it's time for you to make adjustments once you are when you are done once you are done with all this process so i'm going to make adjustment to the way i really gonna like it to be so like this is really okay for me because looking at this part it has a beginning and here also has a beginning and an ending oh uh, let me just see if i can make it yeah something like this is really really okay with me i'm really satisfied with that so i'm going to select both layers ctrl t on my keyboard move it to the middle and i might just scale it down a little bit or something like this it's really okay now i'm gonna hit on okay so the next thing to do below the background and your subject or your artwork you got to create a new layer between those two layers now grab the brush to you already have the brush which i put in the link in the description this platter brush so grab the brush too by hitting the b key on your keyboard 
then you can go to your brush palette and select one of the splatter brush which you just downloaded now you can play around with different ones to see exactly what you want or what it's really really going to give you so i'm just going to go around and see what i'm going to get so i think i'll be going with the 10 if possible so i'm just going to try and see and i'm going to decrease the size now i'm going to pick from the artwork now you want to take out your time to apply this to make sure it's really accurate to something that it's going to be awesome for you now if it's not really making sense or you can't really make use of the splatter brush you can just go ahead and go with some splatter effect and they're going to give you you can just grab it and make use of it in your own work it's really really going to be easy for you so i think this is really okay for me and i'm just going to leave it right here so now once you've done you can add up your watermark or you can add up whatever thing you want to add but aside of that that brings us to the end of this video and i hope this video helps you create a drip effect and if you do make sure to hit the subscribe button and not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you don't miss any new tips and tricks i'm posting every week and coming back to the channel name i've still not get something suitable to replace the channel name so it's still going to remain the same name for the time being till i finally figure out what i really really want to change that to but anything i said with that see you guys in my next video and make sure that you have a nice day